Are you in a couple looking for a third? Or are you single and searching for a dating app that actually encourages you to embrace your sexual side? Field values sex positivity and encourages you to share your desires and interests directly to your profile. You can share freely about how traditional or how kinky you may be. And here's some great news. You can download the app for free by going to field.co. Just click on the link in our episode description to get the Field app for free today. I work in many theaters in, in Miami, theaters, mm-hmm. um, uh, cabarets, whatever. Mm-hmm. Until I met in one show my ex-husband. Mm-hmm. So my, I was supposed to be there for my work visa six months and go back to, to Buenos Aires and come back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he says, you don't have to leave. I want to marry you. Let's get married. Um, I married him in three months. So mm-hmm. you don't have to leave the country. Okay. So at the beginning, I married him for the papers, but I really fell in love with him, like mm-hmm. crazy love. So um, I didn't know what he was uh, doing for a living, you know what I mean, until I found out in the wild what happened. <laughs> because he has all this money, it was in the 80s, you know what I mean? Yeah. All this money to spend. Okay. You told me you work in construction, but how, how all this money is coming from, like yeah. crazy, you know? Boats, he has speed boats, this, that is a construction. I don't know about that. So then until I, I found out... Uh, when you know, before I got married, found out what he was doing, which was that he was a smuggler. You uh-huh. know, the eighties yeah. uh, that was very popular in Florida. I was a big smuggler in fall in Florida. Wow! Um, I believe me or not, that excited me that life so much. Yeah, excited me so much because it's so much. Ex- it's, it was excited for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, I am with a smuggler. I'm, You're young. And he's I dangerous. Am, he's so, so dangerous. Um, life's dangerous. He was not dangerous, but the life was dangerous. Yeah. Uh, because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. And we have all the man in the world. Well, they love, and we were young and happy. And um, was perfect. Mm-hmm. Like the movie Blow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we shone it up. So was perfect for three years, only last three years. You know, when something is so perfect, don't last forever. This you know, it's, it's short leave, very yeah. short leave. So in three years, they took him from me. So in three years, I, I, I know you have everything one day, and next day you don't have nothing. They took everything. So he was arrested? He was arrested. And how did that happen? Like what? We'll say like a conspiracy. They, they... They waited for him in the middle of the ocean, close to Bahamas, okay. when he was there for one, you know, when operation, he was operation moving stuff, you know. Because by then, you know, at that time the eighties is different. I don't know how they do it now. I, don't, I yeah. didn't. I didn't. There's another smuggler. <laughs> so, but I mean, by then they used to throw the stuff in the water, mm-hmm. close to Bahamas. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So shh, all the stuff. What he was doing was picking up everything. You know what I mean? So when he got close to the staff, all the DA, everybody was waiting for him right there. Conspiracy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So wait, okay. So they throw the drugs in the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, And then someone comes to pick it up. Like, is it in bags attached to a buoy or something like Uh, that? Like, how do you find it? Well, uh, they were like, uh, for sure, bags, uh, like uh, inside uh, something that flow, you know, like uh, bags of... yeah. How do you call those? Like, uh, like floating. They were floating in the water. Okay. So it was easy. I'm picking up everything, um, bring to Miami and give away. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. He got rid of. As soon he got to Miami, he got rid of everything. Right. So that, but when the, when, uh, when they were there, he split because he was the best driver so ever. I mean, mm-hmm. crazy driver. Um. And he he was running for hours until he, he he didn't have no gas. So when they caught him, and they caught him, and he said, "Oh, finally, you are the famous Bruce Austin." I said, "Yes, man, <laughs> it's me." <laughs> and that's it. Everything was over. Wow. So, so you he went to prison. Yeah. Okay. So what'd you do? So what did I do? I was crazy. I mean, insane because we were by then. He produced for me a big show, was had, had review, a big review that um, 
with dancers and magicians. It was a great review that we were, uh, he was a producer. And we were, I was traveling with this show uh, to the islands. I was in Puerto Rico last six months in the Hotel Sands working for, in this review for all, all the boats that were coming to see the show. Um, so I said, well, I cannot continue this review. It's a lot of responsibility for me by myself. I said, mm -hmm. what do I do? I said, I have to quit the review. Mm -hmm. And the DA came uh, to talk to me, but didn't bother me as well. That was a crazy thing that didn't do anything to me, didn't bother me. Mm. Yeah, because he told the DA that I don't, my wife doesn't know anything about nothing, mm. he said. They didn't bother me. It's weird, no? But they didn't bother yeah. me at all. Yeah. Maybe they figured they had everything that they needed. Yeah, they, they had did. your husband. Yes, like... they didn't bother me at all. But I was alone. Yeah. Again. Yeah. So I have to, every time I had to reinvent myself, Mexico, uh, Miami, now I have to reinvent myself, but now next. Okay, keep working my shows by myself, you know, alone, without the help, because you cannot be... I only was on the stage. I didn't have nothing to do with the dancers, the mm -hmm. produce, the yeah. So that he was taking care of all that. So, so I had to quit and start all over again. Like my life, that is my life. I always start all over again. Yeah. So I work. Uh, I keep working in shows until a, a friend of mine uh, introduced me with a producer of Reality Kings in two thousand two. Okay. So this, they started a new website uh, called Melf Hunter. Yes, I'm very familiar with Melf Hunter. Do you remember Melf Hunter? Hunter? Of <laughs> I've been in the porn industry for like 23 years. Yeah. I totally know Melf Hunter. Well, you know, I mean, 20 years. Yeah. That was like 20 years ago. Yeah. So um, that is interesting because by then I was a, a dating a, a boyfriend, I had a boyfriend by then much younger than me, 17 years, 17 mm -hmm. years younger. Because mm -hmm. after that, now I, I like younger men, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I started. Um, with him, we used to uh, do like um, uh, home movies. Mm -hmm. We used to love to do home movies because it's so excited with your boyfriend, you know, shoot um, uh, all crazy stuff and, you know, having sex, whatever, and then watch yourself. So it's more exciting to watch yourself than any other movie, no? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, we, let, we used to love to do that. So I was very um, excited with the pornography and um, uh, intrigue, and, and I'm a very passionate woman. I love sex. Mm -hmm. I love sex. I said, okay, so they invite me to this production. I said, this movie. Well, I want to I wanna try to see how it is, you know? I wanna, I, I'm excited to do mm -hmm. this. I have to do this. I want Something I wanted to do for a long time mm -hmm. because we were crazy, my boyfriend and me. We used to have sex all over the place, in the nude beach, here in public, uh, everywhere, no? Like so a very adventurous. We used to people. We, yeah. I love that. I like, I am very... You're an exhibitionist. Exhibitionist, yeah. yeah. I, they made me excited in some ways. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, I mean, that's that's what makes someone like a perfect porn star is that yeah. that yeah. feeling because that's what and you're I doing. And I used to love to do that. I said, oh, this has to be hot. And that was my first uh, uh, MELF movie. That was I am the first MELF ever, really. That's I started amazing. the MELF. I started, yeah, the MELF. Yeah, because the MILF revolution is something, you know, that I've been around and I've seen progress because, like I mentioned, I've been in the industry like 23 years and, you know, it used to be you just wanted young, hot girls, like young girls, you know, mm -hmm. and then by the time you were 26, 27, you were kind of like past it. And then this this new kind of trend started where like the older woman was really the becoming very. Older with the younger guys. Yeah, was becoming um, mm -hmm. very attractive to the audience. 20 years ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and it still continues to this day. MILF is one of the top yes. searched for terms oh, yeah. in porn online. Because the people like to see older women with young guys. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Why like, do you think that is? is? First of all, the younger, younger men, young men love older women. Mm -hmm. Love because all the, my followers are young, 20s, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, can be the grandma, the twenties, the oldest ladies. They love and they say, it's, they just adore older women because mm -hmm. they, 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 I tell you why. 
Because not because uh, the experience, uh, but just explain me the guys that the younger girls, you can have any younger, you can find in the corner younger. It's so mm -hmm. easy to find young girls. But the older woman, experienced older woman, is hard to get. Mm -hmm. The young guys, they cannot get that easy. It's, it's like a fantasy for them. Right. Because the older women don't go and look for young guys. Yeah. And most so, of them are married and yeah, might so not be interested in sex anymore. For, for men, that is. Because the young girls are easy to get, but mm -hmm. the older women hard to get. Mm -hmm. And they always want something hard to get. Mm -hmm. A woman, uh, of course, that look good. You know, I mean, older women look good with experience. They like the experience yeah. that, that the younger girl cannot give them. Are you in a couple looking for a third? Or are you single and searching for a dating app that actually encourages you to embrace your sexual side? Field values sex positivity and encourages you to share your desires and interests directly to your profile. You can share freely about how traditional or how kinky you may be. And here's some great news. You can download the app for free by going to field.co. Just click on the link in our episode description to get the Field app for free today.